If you want to manifest a life by design, it's crucial to do the inner work. By attempting to change the outer world without first changing the inner mental world, we're not going to be as successful. This is because our perception dictates our experience. The only reason a person is ever unhappy about their life is because their perception is telling them that something isn't happening the way they want it to happen. So we aren't going to change what's going on around us until we change what's going on within us. We each have the freedom to co-create with the universe, and the universe itself is designed in such a way as to help us live the most abundant, happy, and fulfilling life we can imagine. But we must imagine it first. And it's up to each of us to put ourselves in start mode by matching our mindset with the reality that we want. Ask yourself the following questions. When I wake up in the morning, am I giving the green light to the universe to bring me what I want from life? Or am I expecting to experience things that don't happen the way I want them to? These are two different sides of the coin and the choice is up to each individual as to which side of that coin they give their attention to. In our behavioral processes, there are two different types of attention. Perceptual attention, which is related to the physical experience and the ability to perceive or ignore stimuli, and conceptual attention, which is allotted to internal attention and mental processes based on memories. These two processes are intricately linked. If one speeds up or slows down, so does the other. By using the mind in very specific ways, we can kickstart our brain into broadening its boundaries and beliefs, allowing us to make creative connections that we may not have made otherwise. In other words, when we deliberately increase our perceptual attention, it translates into a greater amount of conceptual attention, thereby enhancing the creativity of our mind and giving it the opportunity to expand its knowledge and the possible outcomes we can experience. The following process will show you how to do this. Imagine that you are a chef in a very well-stocked kitchen where there's every ingredient and utensil you can envision available in abundant proportion. Your only job is to use your tools to put those ingredients together in different combinations for the creation of what you want. And the possibilities are endless. This is how the universe works. It gives you every available option to work with and every available tool to use. Some of the ingredients may not be ideal for your creation, while many others will be. And some of the tools you have to work with, such as your feeling states, the words you use, and your mental constructs won't assist you in bringing about your manifestation, while other ones will work just perfectly. If you begin to see the world in this way, you can immediately start shopping for the ingredients or things you want most and use the tools you have been given to combine those ingredients and create your masterpiece. It's as simple as making a mental or written shopping list as you move throughout your day to expand your perceptual attention. There might be many things you see in the universal market that don't pertain to your particular creation, and you can choose to just dismiss those items while putting your focus on the things that you really want. Each day, look everywhere for the ingredients that make you happy. You may want to drive through neighborhoods to look at homes or go to car dealerships to see specific vehicles. It's also a great idea to watch people who are prosperous or successful or healthy and study them and how they feel and act. Make it your dominant intention to seek out the things that you would like in your life. This broadens your perceptual attention and helps you establish the list of ingredients required to create those things as a reality. This process also assists in training yourself to notice more of what you want while dismissing the things that you don't. Consequently, you begin to attract more of the positive into your life. The next step is combining your list with your tools. This works best if you are able to find a place of solitude where you can work on your creation. In this place of solitude, it's a good idea to activate a high vibrational state within you first and foremost. For example, you might want to listen to music that inspires you, dance around the room, or watch something that makes you laugh for a few minutes 
just to get yourself into a favorable state for the work you're about to do. Your vibrational state is one of the tools that you have to work with. And in the same way that you wouldn't want to cook a meal without imagining the satisfaction of it, you wouldn't want to create something new in your life without feeling excited or happy. So the first step is to start with raising your vibrational state. Next, as you're feeling that high vibrational state, pick one thing on your shopping list and begin to see it in your imagination. As you do this, verbalize what you are imagining. For example, say out loud, I can see my new house, and then allow the tool of your mind to do the work for you. You may begin to realize that as you verbalize this, the image becomes more vivid and clear. And as it becomes more vivid and clear, you will be able to see and experience more of the details. You might see that your new house has white shutters and a tan door. And as you verbalize that, you may see that the door has three little windows at the top. Verbalize that too. This is a very important part of the visualization process because each time you do this, the image becomes more vivid and clear, and your mind will give you even more ways to describe it by offering you more details, which in turn makes it even more vivid and clear. This creates a positive visualization cycle that begins to reinforce itself. Verbalizing your mental images is known as image streaming, and it's a great way to broaden your conceptual attention by tapping into the memories that are already stored and focusing your mind on specific mental details. And each time you practice this, you will notice that you get better at it. This process also assists in increasing other sensory perceptions during visualization, which further strengthens how the mind internalizes what is being imagined. This is to say it draws on the memories that you already have that are intricately linked with your five senses. Try telling yourself out loud, what you smell, hear, taste, or feel. For example, I feel the warm sun on my face, or a beautiful breeze in my hair, or I feel the handle of my new front door in my hand. Even if you aren't able to sense these things at first, your mind will search for the matching sensation as you do this. And once again, with practice, you will find yourself fully submersed in a sensory-rich visualization. As you apply this technique, begin to merge any other ingredients that pertain to this creation one by one into the scene. Take your time to verbalize each item and feel for the details with your senses until you have combined these items into one beautiful scene. This helps you create something so clearly detailed that it becomes your point of attraction. In other words, you begin to embody the manifestation of what you want with your perception mental constructs, and sensory perception, creating the perfect recipe to attract what you want to you. Try this process for 30 days to begin seeing massive changes in your life. The more you submerse yourself into this state, the more you harness your total creative power and therefore increase your attracting power. This creates a cycle wherein your manifestations are already a part of you. By fully experiencing what you want in this way, you become it. And when you become it, you can't help but experience even more of it. It's universal law.